liberation of Khan is finally at hand, Major. Tonight, Bomber Command is unleashing hell. By the morning, all Axis positions will be rubble. Third Battalion can then claim our prize. Today, Khan. Tomorrow, Paris. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sir Cypher here, let's play Company of Heroes, mission number six for the British, and um, after playing this mission, I realized why I stopped playing the British campaign, because this mission is really just aggravating. It's not necessarily even hard, or it's really not that hard, it's just really designed to be aggravating for reasons that you will see. Um, as I play it. So. Bright and early to you, Major. Elements of the 1st and 12th SS Panzers, reinforced by the 16th Luftwaffe Field Division, have established defensive positions throughout Khan. Seems the bombing made Jerry dig in harder. Khan won't fall without a good fight. 3rd Battalion will advance into Khan and eliminate all Axis positions. This will not be an easy fight. We will pay dearly for Khan. Establish a base of operations in the ruins of the Chateau. We will launch our assault on Khan from here. Vikoy will be supporting our advance on the left flank. Keep an eye on them. Okay, so we need to take this town. Bren's ready to deploy. Contact! German infantry! Bloody hell! Take it here, I am! Okay, look, unfortunately, we got. Some pretty decent, cool kinds of troops here. Just gonna help us out. Uh, see where these guys. So, um, we're advancing. Um, the enemy's got mortars, but since I played this earlier, which is also how I know how aggravating this is. I know where, for example, all the enemy mortars are going to be up on this hill. Mortars on the bloody flank! Get your sections over there! So we'll just shoot all the mortars to death. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. And we will uh, pick up this mortar with our uh, extra section. Just going to uh, cut to the chase and start bombarding the area which we're going to be heading to eventually. Now, this mission's sort of weird because, um, really, the biggest problem we're going to be dealing with are these these special sort of bunkers that are given the name reinforced bunkers and they have like I'm gonna say something like ten times the health of a normal bunker and they're just they just take a really long time to kill and they're aggravating 
German tiles being destroyed. Most of our uh, efforts are going to be focused on getting things that can kill these uh, sort of like super bunkers. And I know there's all this shit down here, which is why I'm ordering it, even though you might not know that yet. Which, again, is in the interest of time. Um, I did actually do this mission first, sort of blindly. And um, it just took way too long. And it was mostly me complaining about how long this mission is. So I didn't, you know, I decided to redo it. To but um, I'm going to do each mission blind Area first. Secure. And Ready if it turns out okay, then I'll, then I'll post it. But if not, Chateau then I'm going to redo secured. it. Mobile command HQ's on my position. Right. Good bloody work, 3rd Battalion. Reorg the troops. We need to keep the momentum if we want to capture the city. So now we've captured this area down here. Section, look sharp. The shelling has really created a bloody mess for our lads. There is holed up in the rubble like rats. Recce reports show this whole area is riddled with snipers, MGs, and concealed weapon teams creating a massive kill zone. Until we identify those Axis positions, proceeding into Khan may be a problem. Have the battalion conduct a reconnaissance in force of the area. Our objective is to neutralize the main defensive positions and secure these locations. Once secured, call in fighter bombers to smash Jerry back into the Stone Age. Until that defensive line is destroyed, we cannot risk the Royal Dragoon's tanks. So much for a bloody good morning. Unfortunately, unlike what the game suggests, we can't actually we call in the area. Um, fighter bombers, light which is kind of annoying. And, to deploy howitzers to cover the advance and, provide fire support as needed. and it says you can deploy howitzers or whatever, but honestly, that's... Okay, That's not what we want to do. There's there's so many of these bunkers and they have so much health that really we just need to uh, just get lots of shit that can uh, kill bunkers. That's sort of pathetic as that sounds. So, um, that is what most of our effort is going to be going to. Send your message, sir. Listen up, you fucking wankers. Bill complete over here. Ready to move. Ready to move. And not only Ready stuff that can kill bunkers, but stuff that can kill bunkers fast. Otherwise, this this level is going to last for like three million hours. So, um, let's go scout over here with this tank. The first thing we need to do is we need to go link up with Bravo Company, which is uh, over there to the left. So there is an AT gun here, but hopefully I can take it out with some mortars. So then my um, my Stuart can proceed unmolested up the road. For some reason, my AT gun seems to be acting rather willfully. Okay. Understood. Smooth Lord and fire. Now I'm not actually gonna upgrade these uh, these um, this infantry section because I'm actually gonna kill off all my infantry sections pretty pretty soon because um, we really want as many sappers as possible because uh, we want to kill off these bunkers as fast as we can. Uh, actually, the AT is shooting back at me. Huh? I don't know if they could hit me from there. Anyway, we want to kill off these infantry sections as fast as we can. So that's why. All right. So as part of that, I'm going to call in the field support truck, so we can start building more sappers. Ready to have it out. And uh, we'll get all these guys to this over there. Get your lads on that point. The LT shouldn't be first. Heavy casualties. We need to provide them immediate support. We've lost a fucking Moving section out. there. there in two shakes. Six ready. Right. All right. So we'll bring the mortars over here too, because that might be helpful. Uh oh. Puma. Uh, 
So basically, we have to like, we have to kill all the stuff that's being offensive to our buddies. Um, and then people will be like, oh, you completed the mission, you have uh, rescued Bravo Company. And such. So we're going to bring a lot of firepower here to the equation, and hopefully that, uh, that will be enough. Our mortar team is calling in mortars here. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. Hopefully none of them will hit my tank. I should, should I should kill this mortar before it kills my giant blob of infantry. Get your lads over there. Seems like less than killing these guys and more just blowing up all the buildings. That's fine. Alright, so this thing is building. Build some more sappers. NCOs reporting they have destroyed a German target. So build some more peat sappers. And um I think there's like one more unit I think I have to kill right here. There we go, yeah, destroy this machine gun crew. Uh, I probably should use canister shot because I'm gonna have to cap a lot of cap a lot of munitions here. Cover and move, gents, right through to that target. Watch the gaps between your teams or Jerry will take us apart. All right, so Intel suggested Jerry had pulled out. We all know that was a load of shite. We are now under third battalion command. Let's push those Jerry bastards right out of calm, gents. So, um, we've gotten some units. For rescuing Biko, we have two Sherman Crocodiles, and we also get the Armor Command Truck. And um, we are going to uh, utilize all of this. And I'm also we get a whole mess of infantry, which I am going to almost immediately send on suicide missions because as I said we need all of the pop cap we have for sappers oh shit oh okay that was this is a little hasty here I forgot the enemy had this pants before so we gotta deal with So we do actually have to finish off this uh, Panzer IV. Ah, uh, more infantry to suicide. So normally I don't like my infantry to die, but for some reason, for the British, since your infantry basically um, don't have any... Um, just distributed supercharged rounds to the RTI. Your infantry can't get any better, like they can't get veterancy. I don't really feel that bad about it, which makes me probably a bad person. I only care about preserving my infantry when there's like some benefit to me. So these are these reinforced bunkers, these fortified bunkers, and they take forever to kill. But, um, I have a plan. So, hopefully that plan will work. At the same time, Sir, keep the um, building lots of engineers. Where actually were those engineers? Here we go. Okay. Yes, so, hmm. I still have guys who are alive. 
We shouldn't be alive, so we gotta kill, s kill off some more troops. Lots of bits. Unit is KIA. I think Stewart's actually cost six pop caps. We're gonna get this Stewart too. Sorry, Stewart. You have been a faithful, a faithful companion, but we're gonna have to let you go. Put this on. Alright, building yes, some more pits. Pit engineers, because the pit engineers rule. Actually, huh, I wonder if I can kill this 88. Nope, I can't. I just want to mine. Speaking of that, I should upgrade these mines for these things right now. Battalion HQ is confirmed. It can start securing resources from the area. Son, let's get this bullshit over with James. Let's get on with it, lads. Call him back. Elbows and asses, secure those fucking positions. So let's see here. Okay, here we go. More pit engineers. Sappers in fuel. Sapper pit team at the ready. At the bottom, right. let's get us. I see you reading you. What are your orders? Well, at least I'm doing some damage to it somehow. And somehow it's not hit my steward. Ah, oh, there goes my steward. Jelly claimed one in about arms. two seconds. So, um. Kind of actually Leo's tempted to build to a 25 pounder, but team ready. I guess I don't have enough pop cap now that I built all these sappers. But that's fine. Reinforcements. We're moving out. We're standing by. Move out. All right, sapper pits, sapper pits. All right, so. Go ahead, let's tear ours over there. Tank commander here. Go ahead. So step one. Um, to dealing with this sort of thing is we need to we need to kill at least one of these bunkers and um, I should just be able to do that with my um, I should just be able to do that with my um, my crocodile steward come on PS soldiers get over there I think the 88 can actually hit me from here, but it normally has pretty bad accuracy because there's all this shit in the way. I might just drive through the 88 and kill it if it actually manages to hit me. I think I actually will do that. So we'll just drive through and we'll kill the 88, and then I can kill these bunkers at my leisure. So hopefully um, I can kill this 88 before it can kill me. I'm aided by the fact that uh, I have a flamethrower. Enemy so unit. That's, cool. that's great. So one thing about the the whole mounted flamethrower is you actually have to a lot of times make sure the uh, the crocodile is oriented in the right way. Or it uh, won't actually do it. So, it's, even with these two flamethrowers on it, it's taking a very long time. So let's see here, we have five squads of Piet troops, which will hopefully be enough. So we'll have five squads of Piet troops, and, um... Sappers well covered, sir. Three. Ready. Team ready. And uh, three lieutenants. And that will be the Make assault line. section. CP6 ready for your message. And um, Listen up, no, sorry, lot. hopefully, God willing, that will be enough. I'll be gonna build. I'm gonna build two more squads of sappers just in case. So, um, now that that first AT, now that that first bunker is gone, 
I should be able to sneak up in here with the assault squadron. Now, I don't actually want to capture these points, because as soon as you capture these victory points, the enemy starts launching these counterattacks, and they're just really annoying. Not because they're in any way difficult to respond to, just because it just forces you to kind of pull off from destroying these bunkers, and it's just, it's just aggravating to have to do it. So, I'm uh, not going to do that yet. I'm going to um, equip one of these engineers with advanced repair, which um, is kind of cool because um, it makes your engineers repair faster. And it also, uh, once they're finished repairing, um, they over-repair the tank. So they actually give it, like, bonus extra health, which is pretty cool. So hopefully with all these piots, you see how these, even with all the piots, it doesn't really do, like, really that much damage. But hey, this squad of sappers is definitely getting more piots now. As you can see, I, I don't know why they made the choice to make this mission like that, this, but like, I'm literally shooting like dozens of pits into the thing and dousing it with flames and it still is not, not dying, so. Like I said, not difficult, but just, but just um, uh, annoying. And again, I don't, I don't know why that was like the decision I made. Seems to me like a poor, poor decision. But hey, I'm not an award-winning video game development company, and they are, so I guess they can do whatever the fuck they want. Sappers ready for action. All right, where are my uh, advanced repair guys? Okay, here we go. And why, why is this tank all the way back right. here? What the plan? So, yeah, there's a bunker. Hmm. Get her moving, driver. Let's scout Armor this out. That way now. Oh shit, there's an 88 over there. Well, that's no good. That's no good. That's no good at all. Why are you pointing the wrong way, Churchill? Unfortunately, this 88 seems to be like a super bad shot. Point the right way at least, Jesus Christ. There we go. So hopefully... So I guess the enemy still has some shit here or something. Oh god. Ready to move. Captain wants us to get close on that position. Commandos ready for Contact! German infantry! Please kill it. There we go. That's great. A German target. So as you can see, they repair it, and it gets this sort of white thing there, which means it has um um it has this extra health. Now I know I have at least one free lieutenant. I'm not sure where he's gotten up. So oh, there we go. Um, we sort of are in the unique position this mission because um. You have, you have, I mean, I had three lieutenants, and then you get another lieutenant. That, uh, when you, when you complete that objective, that gives you, like, super mega bonus lieutenants. Which is kind of fun. So, well, actually, before I head in there, just for the sake of, I don't want to have to mass recruit all my units. Let me, uh, let me bring the, uh. This Churchill crocodile. Now I'm I'm being kind of gentle with my Churchill crocodiles because obviously I can't build any more because I'm Royal Artillery, and um, so if they die, I lose them. And um, obviously, if you see other videos, I don't really like Churchills that much, but Churchill crocodiles are actually. Churchill crocodiles are actually rad as fuck. They they just rule basically. Um, because they have the flamethrower, which as you can see murders infantry. And they still have like an anti-tank gun, which obviously can't kill like um you know, heavy armor. But basically um it can kill anything short of any any Axis tank short of like 
a, uh, a panther. So I can kill panther fours, it can kill stugs, it can kill all that stuff. And just the fact that it's a flamethrower makes it like a really just good all around vehicle. And I just, I really like, um, I really like crocodiles. I think they're, they're rad as shit. Now, where is the engineer so There we go. So. Something's shooting at me. I guess there's a mortar team. So, oh, it's this mortar team over here. Whatevs. Alright, so now I'm going to advance in here with the crocodile. Now, and like I said, the crocodile is a really good multi-purpose unit, but the problem with it that makes it normally not that useful is it's like the last unit you can call in on the uh, engineering team. You see a couple of mine just blew up because I ran it over with my crab flail, or with my uh, little flail there. Um, just flamethrower everything. Um, so obviously the problem is, is that, um, you know, by the time you get it, you know, your allies, your your uh, enemies are going to have a lot more powerful tanks. Not necessarily more useful tanks, or, you know, but just, just literally more powerful tanks, like Panthers and Tigers and stuff like that. So it sort of limits its effectiveness. Alright, where is this? There, where is this fucking mortar? It's about to get. I'm fucking sick of this shit. Alright. You're dead, mortar. Unfortunately, with the mine flail, you can't. Or the, uh. The mine plow, you can't be as cool as. Oh shit, an AT gun. Fuck. Well, again, we got a flamethrower. So. Enemy unit has been knocked out. You know, we're not like super worried about it. And uh, not only is the uh, the Churchill, the Churchill like it, the crocodile is really useful with the flamethrower. Um, it's actually just a really tough. This is just kill these guys in like two seconds. It's actually a really tough vehicle. Historically, the, the Churchill had roughly about as much armor as, say, a Tiger tank. And um, you, you can see with all these multiple wheels, um, it was actually a lot more resistant to uh, certain kinds of damage, like getting hit on the tracks. Because, um, you know, if like one of these little bogey wheels got taken out, it, you know, it could still, it could still uh, maneuver effectively. But the problem, obviously, though, is that um, with this little six-pounder gun, even if your your Churchill did survive all kinds of punishment, it was didn't really matter because couldn't really do that much. So we'll head in here with the uh, the Sapper Brigade, and we'll just coat this thing with <laughs> we'll just coat this thing with P Browns. So long. Oh, it's not pointing here. Now, where did my uh, re little repair squad go? Oh. Now, one thing though with these uh, repair sappers is uh, um, sometimes. You know, like you, I, I, I used to think that the game was bugging out because it looked like the, the shit was done repairing, but the guy would still be there trying to fix it. But yeah, when the bar turns white, you can't really tell, but your your units are actually getting like bonus health, which I mean is pretty rad. So 
Can't really complain about bonus health. Alright, I guess we'll get the, uh... I guess we'll get the, um... The commandos to go cap this point over here. While I keep up the demolition. On these retardedly... Sorry. Well, I guess I could have used... I could have used it in the correct sense of like being slow, but uh, didn't mean to be offensive in these ridiculously difficult to destroy bunkers. That's what I meant to say. Hey, so you see there was a mine, but I got the mine plow, which, for the Churchill, thankfully, um, doesn't actually make the vehicle any slow. Whoa! This guy stepped on a mine. Um, which, unlike the normal Churchill. Um, or unlike the Sherman, doesn't actually make the vehicle any slower. And what the fuck is this? I thought I killed everything over here. Something is shooting at me. Oh shit, an 88. Okay. I think I might actually have to retreat all these guys. Uh, Blast it. I wonder if I can actually sneak in there and kill that with these pits. Well, actually, probably with this Churchill now that's been over repaired, I can probably take it out. No, I'm gonna have to retreat those guys. But we'll get the uh, we'll get the repair engineers in here to fix these guys up. And uh, we'll do fix these guys up. Ready for Reinforcing. Group, we need Ready. fucking infantry combat teams with armor. Now I'm hoping that this mission is not an indication of what the the rest of the British campaign is going to be like because um, the beginning part of the British campaign is actually pretty fun. That so there's a good variety of missions, some defense, some offense, um, but. This mission is just aggravating, because it's not challenging. I mean, the enemy never actually attacks you, like, you're never in any danger of losing this mission. Um, you know, I mean, as you can see, like, nev never have I ever been like, oh no, the enemy's attacking me. The enemy just has all this bullshit, and you, you have to, like, fight it all. Which, to me, is stupid. And then we actually have another noble war for somewhere, which I need to find for the secondary objective. Go ahead. Replacements clearing QM now. Replacements are mustering now. Whoa, oh, here's the uh here's an AT gun actually. Enemy unit destroyed. So I should deal with that. Whoa, there's an 88 there too. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Well, this thing's repaired, so... Hmm, how am I gonna take out that 88 over there? That looks pretty dangerous. I guess I gotta, like, move along this little... Little ledge there. Sir. I mean, I guess if I take out all these little supporting troops, I could just... I could just bomb rush it with my, with my infantry. But that's no fun, so let's see if I can, uh... If I can just flamethrower this thing. Well, I seem to be flamethrowing the Nebelor for... Well, the AT gun's pointing the wrong way, so there's no... Now I'm playing the AT gun. Again, you can't really control which direction the main gun's gonna point... Or the, the flamethrower's gonna shoot at. Ow. Alright, so that's done. So hopefully I can not kill the... Uh... Alright, come over here and get healed, you. So we'll see. If I can, again, there's like, there's like this artillery that starts shooting down if you, if you kind of sort of come out of this area here. But uh, I really want to kill this 88. 
So then I can sort of just do what I please. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. Go ahead. Piet squad ready for order. Your lieutenant is ready and willing. Whoa, shit, it's a Panzer IV. Uh, run away. All right, let's get the, uh, let's get the Piet squad on the case. And actually, actually, before I, uh, before I leave, I should probably actually just kill all this stuff. Oh, I forgot how slow these guys are moving from in enemy territory. So yeah, although I'm not a, I'm not a, I mean, I was going to say very big fan, but I shouldn't really say fan at all of normal Churchills. I love, I love, uh, Churchill Fireflies, and I also actually do love, um, Churchill AVREs. I think they're pretty, pretty cool. Oh, what is this, an AT half track? Please. It's sort of weird how in the British missions and um, the Panzer, like they sort of just mash together the various factions. But I mean, I guess obviously, you know, the Panzer Elite and the Wehr and the Wehrmacht are obviously the same army, so it sort of makes sense that. Where the fuck do you think you're driving to? Well, whatever. I guess. I guess they're gonna get away. So we'll go scoot down here. Enemy unit has been knocked out. And uh, start the mass mass barrage of pits. Hopefully, I hope the next mission you get to keep your units and we just fight a thousand tanks because that would be glorious. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to suicide all these Pia Troopers because they're not going to be very useful. Yes, now, yeah, like I said, I think I said earlier, but I'm not capping these points yet because, I mean, obviously we can cap them at any point. There's no, um, there's no real rush. And also, um, once we cap them, we start facing counterattacks. Um, so it's easier... Again, not difficult counterattacks. It's just like one or two squads of uh, of um, uh, grenadiers, but it's just and it's just annoying. So I don't want to. Oh shit! This thing's pointing this way. So it's just annoying. I don't want to do it. So I'm just going to uh, kill all this shit first, so I don't have to worry about it. Now, I don't think there's any decent way to flank this pillbox over here, this bunker rather. So I'm just going to set it on fire. And since I am doing that, I might as well come down here and uh, help have all these guys help prepare. This is, I guess this mission is more of a showcase of how rad Churchill crocodiles are than anything else. Because they are pretty, pretty rad. Ready to roll. Tanks in repair. But again, the problem is, is normally you get them so late in the game that, um... That uh, they're not really as useful as they could be. Ready to get them early on.
But again, unlike a uh, Sherman uh, crocodile or Sherman, uh, the Sherman's called crocodiles too. The flamethrower Shermans, I think they are. Yeah, I guess they are. I wonder why all these flamethrower tanks are called crocodiles. I'm probably gonna look it up on Wikipedia, and then it's gonna be something obvious. But um, unlike the Sherman, the Sherman flamethrower tank, they can uh, easily defend themselves against. Uh, anything short of like heavy enemy armor, so which is what makes it cool. Like for example, there's a Panzer IV here. And I'm gonna blast the fuck out of it. Well, I might give him a little help just because I feel like waiting. Um, but you can see, um, Churchill's are really they're, these are really tough. Um, the enemy's ricocheting off them and. Um, Alright, uh, you guys are blasting the shit out of this panther before, so... Oh, fuck! Fuck. Oh, my guys, I just had to run away, because if you get too close, you trigger the artillery to start coming in. And it's normally not a big deal for tanks, because tanks are pretty resistant to artillery, but it'll kill your infantry super fast. Um, basically, the game doesn't want you to go across the river and stuff. And deal with all this thing at this point because um you know that's like that's not this mission which you know is obviously um probably a uh, questionable uh, way to go about it gameplay wise I'm not sure why this flamethrower is not firing But, Contact, get rounds uh, down range. let's see here. Standing by to move. Thankfully, nobody actually died from that. target has been destroyed. I'm actually, I'm going to send one of the tanks down here. Um, in preparation of my troops. Bum rushing down here, because I'm sure there's ten kinds of BS over here waiting for me. It's a lot of destroyed tanks, actually. Again, the Churchill Crocodile. Amazing at killing infantry. And weapons teams. I want combat teams to move and secure the objectives on the double. Alright, so I think probably we're good to actually cruise in here with our infantry. And if there's any enemies here, they'll just get killed by a barrage of feed rounds. Man, they really nerfed the accuracy of Piets against infantry. Piets actually used to be like super ridiculous against infantry, but they uh, they nerfed the accuracy, so um, it wasn't quite so broken. Better send this guy's actually already heard us. So I better send the uh, my second Cromwell up here to help. You can see um, a lot of the Panzer shells bounce off the Cromwell, but a lot of the Cromwell shells bounce off the Panzer as well. Because the 
Churchill. Crocodile has a shit gun. So. You know, what are you gonna do? Yes, sir. Piet team ready. Let's get on with it, chaps. Piet squad, awaiting order. Kill these. I'm going to be able to just a veritable barrage of Piet rounds. Alright, so we're almost done. I I am aware that this was a little bit more tedious than normal, but I really don't know of any faster way to do this. Um, you know, the enemies just got all this, these fortified bunkers, which have machine guns, and um, if you can flank them, then yes, you can uh, just turn them into paste with your... Um, with your sappers, but otherwise, it's just kind of how it goes. And you got to kind of deal with them uh, piece by piece. Fortunately, though, we got these Sherman Crocodiles. And they've obviously uh, done very well for themselves. Section, targets to your front. And um, now I'm going to capture all these points. And that is going to end the mission. So, um, this was mission six. I'll, I'll do my little end bit now, so, you know. Might not have to listen when the little bar thing comes up. But we completed all the objectives. Well, well, we're going to complete all the objectives. And, um, again, this, I, I quit on this mission before just because, um, I was just like, this isn't fun. And this mission is not really fun. Hopefully, though, the next mission... Think is I'm fun. Cry. I'm showing all targets destroyed. Good bloody show, gents. Major, all targets neutralized. The lads took a beating, but they're in good spirits. They did a bloody good job of it. Pass it down the line. Let's tend to the wounded and reorg the troops. We've only just started the battle for Khan. So that was it. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.